Good evening, guys, and welcome back to the classroom with Architect Mark. In this uh, part or section of the 12 minute classroom, I would like to uh, introduce uh, what we're moving on forward from photography. And this is partly the reason why we uh, took on some lessons regarding it apart from those uh, the knowledge from that is quite valuable when you consider rendering programs that have a camera setting which you can control those allow for introduction of more light into the scene even if the values for illumination might be a little bit low so it's a degree of control that's pretty uh, you, you can make fine tuning adjustments with those okay so let's move on to the blue board and talk about lightroom So, huh. interesting. Just pause this because the pen is being recognized. Give it more time. There we go. Okay, let's turn this to why you can see here that i've learned that when you right click somewhere it uh, puts up the color palette and we can change on the fly yep. so lightroom this is a part of the creative cloud suite and its primary focus is the development of uh, raw or uh, processed images. So why would you want Lightroom uh, instead of Photoshop? These are two very different things. So let's put them uh, side by side and see uh, like some sort of pro con list if there are any. Okay, Lightroom primarily supports RAW, which Photoshop doesn't really want to take on that. Um, so Photoshop will be supportive of the more common uh, types of files. So no raw. Actually you can. There is a, a part or a plugin on the on the on Photoshop, like Adobe Camera Raw, but there's far more control in Lightroom. So, uh, Photoshop allows for basically not just photo manipulation, it's collaging. So, you can't do this in Lightroom. So no collage. You're basically working on Lightroom per single image. And that's just not how Photoshop works. Uh, Lightroom can also basically control a uh, 
huge photo set. So let's just say photo set here. And then in Photoshop, it's normally one by one. So each, uh, when you're trying to manipulate something, you open it up one by one. And then you put it into the program, do whatever manipulations you want with it, and then uh, fix it from there. Lightroom handles photo sets. So, for example, you went on a shoot. And then there's a, uh, a lot of photos that you took. All of those can be imported into Lightroom at once and you can see them and then perform group edits. Unlike uh, Photoshop with its uh, automation. So there's automation in Photoshop which allows for processing of multiple images. Lightroom, there's synchronization, which basically applies settings from a specific mm, edited image into the others in that photo set. So the functionality of Lightroom is more like a manager because it oversees a lot of data at once. Uh, Photoshop is more task-based. What else can you say? Um, well, the interface is completely different. Because uh, focus of Lightroom is for the final composed image. In Photoshop, the focus is to be able to manipulate multiple files and create something new with them, or maybe draw into it you can't do that with lightroom or see okay and then let's just say this is a multi when you if you're not familiar with how Lightroom looks like. It's basically one big photo in the middle, and then all your controls are to the left, right, and bottom of uh, your image. Or if you're not using the image view, you're probably looking at the grid view where you can see like, even hundreds of photos in a single folder. You can see all of those at once. Mm, or at a glance sections of it and yeah Lightroom and Photoshop are two very different things they have overlapping things of course uh, but there is um, more control over Lightroom so the benefits of using Lightroom are you have finer controls over shadows and highlight So this is basically outlining the main things that you will be changing when you're in Lightroom. Highlights, control, uh, 
blowouts in your image or overcast items you can reduce that and then shadows you basically can pull more information from shadowed areas so you can do that or you can increase the saturation of the shadow to make it darker and then you also have whites and blacks so these these are basically uh, points of the photo it's uh, displayed in some sort of grid uh, grid no uh, there's some sort of curve let's say this is the image curve uh, this is the white point and this is the black point so white and blacks you can finally move or expand uh, the histogram towards white and or towards black so after that you have controls for clarity some minor control or perspective correction it's not a perfect implementation here there are some better alternatives but it does do the job even lens corrections Because Lightroom is focused primarily on working with camera output, you can also find specific uh, controls for uh, lens types or lens families. You can also control. the amount of uh, blur amount of blur within an image and there's a funny story to this i actually learned lightroom because of a uh, printing story so i will just go quickly over that where uh, the timers going down anyway so I had uh, a landscape shot of, what was that? Hmm. Angkor Wat, I think that was it. And then when I printed it out, when I had it printed in a photo laboratory or photo lab, there was a, a bit of smudging on there and then uh, it was, it didn't look quite as I imagined it because of course when you're looking at the viewfinder, that's a, a smaller screen and there uh, the details would look sharper here and it's not necessarily what will translate to an actual printout so while I was there uh, there was another photographer that was having his material printed and I was able to ask about uh, how how the outputs are always clean and uh, 
polished. And that was the first time that was I was my my eyes were opened up to the idea of post processing, which is actually an integral step in photography. So Lightroom is the digital version of a dark room where you can do dodge and burns and then control the time of development. It's basically that, but in digital form. So that's the program that we're moving towards and I hope you can still join the classroom and find out if you might want to move into Lightroom or you can just stick with the uh, image editor of choice that you might need or have or are using so yeah it's a uh, it's been a little bit of a while but uh, we're not out of things to talk about yet there's still a lot of things a lot of uh, programs and learnings that we can get here all right so i'll see you guys again tomorrow take care good night